This is 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And in this segment, I've got to ask the question, is President Obama an economic idiot? Does he not know the difference between demand-side and supply-side economics? Does he know the difference between trickle-up and trickle-down? I don't think he understands any of it. I think this guy is a community organizer, and all he understands is playing to the emotions, playing to the wants and needs of the crowd he's in front of at any given time. I don't think he understands a moment of the economic issue that's in front of us. And this, is, this was obvious in his demonstration on Labor Day when he all of a sudden flips on a dime and offers up corporations and businesses huge tax incentives. Now, along with that, he throws out a humongous $100 million bill to rebuild the roads and bridges in this country. Where is this money coming from? I'm all for rebuilding the roads and bridges. I think we should have started rebuilding the roads and bridges in 2006 and 2007 when things were going good. That's when you make the change. When you've got the money, you're flush, things are going, that's when you rebuild. That's when you add on. You don't wait until you're broke. So what is he thinking here? What is he trying to achieve? It's simple. This is a political maneuver. Because he doesn't get to make this decision. He doesn't get to choose. This is voted on by Congress. And I'm sorry, Congress is a little distracted right now. Because a whole bunch of them have a pretty good chance of losing their seats come November. So what are they interested in? They're focused on going back and talking to their constituents. They're focused on going out and getting money so that they can run a thousand million ads and try to win your vote by looking like the shiniest rock in the comparisons of the two rocks that are going to be running as candidates. What he's proposing doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of getting passed before, the, before November elections. So what's he trying to do? He's just trying to throw smoke in the wind to cloud our view and the reality that every economic maneuver that the Democratic Party has done, every economic maneuver that this administration has done has failed. Now, I want to go back to my original question, the whole idea of President Obama being an economic idiot, because I don't say that lightly. Because here's the part I don't understand. He talks about this tax savings that's going to happen by, by giving these, uh, this ability for corporations to be able to write off research and development, to be able to write off large purchases, that it's going to save businesses $200 billion. Excuse me, their entire tax collection on large corpora on corporations is roughly $290 billion. So if that's the case, why not just make it a 0% corporate tax, finish it off right there, and have it dealt with? What is the difference? Why not offer up corporations a real benefit, since corporate taxes just pass through to the consumers anyways? Why not create a 0% corporate tax so that we have a real opportunity and a guarantee to corporations so they can repatriate money from overseas so small businesses won't have that fear of reinvesting because they won't get taxed twice on it? And now we really have something going. But you know what the problem is? President Obama doesn't understand economics. Because if he did, he would realize that's the way to put people back to work. That's the way to get the economy fueled, and that's the way to gain trust and gain the trust of corporations and businesses once again so that they start putting all that money that's sitting on the sidelines back to work and getting the citizens of the United States back to work. You've been listening to 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And if you like what you've heard here, then go out and pick up a copy of my book, Political Common Sense for America, you can find it at Amazon.com. Until next time, be safe out there.